Hey there, it's Pretentious James, and it's been a while since I've done a video, but today I wanted to talk to you about what it takes to be a wingman. First question is, what is a wingman? A lot of people immediately think of like Goose and Maverick and Top Gun or, you know, some other homoerotic love story. This gives me a hard on. By the end of Vietnam, that ratio was back up to 12 to 1. Don't tease me. Blinds, please. Honestly, I never understood why people keep referencing the beach volleyball scene as the gayest part of that movie. I don't mean gay as a pejorative either. I mean it as man-on-man -man action. Anyway, a wingman is someone who helps his buddy pick up a girl. It's, it's very simple. And it can range from just giving advice to actively talking up your friend to the girl to try to impress her on his behalf. You know, there are a lot of different techniques you can use uh, while, while being a wingman. And it's a very noble thing to do to help your buddy out. Excuse me, miss. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. There's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it, baby. But baby, believe me, I know it. How far can you go while being a wingman? Well, uh, in a recent book, Sex at Dawn, written by some anthropologists that are looking into the, the um, hunter-gatherer societies and how they handled sex. They told a story about an Amazon tribe where at the beginning of each day the women would walk around singing a song that basically translated to if you don't bring food back from the hunt you, you don't get laid. Uh, and apparently they followed through on that threat a few times because the men take it very seriously. So when the men leave the village to hunt they meet in a clearing a little ways away from the village. They go out and they hunt. They come back and meet at the same spot. And if somebody didn't catch anything that day, then the other guys share the meat with them so everyone can come back to the village and have a good time that night. And that is a great example of being the ultimate wingman. So next time you're at a bar and your buddy is having trouble getting up the courage to go talk to a girl, just remember, Amazon tribe where the bros are so tight they even give up food so the other guy can get laid. Until next time, this is James.